you guys, Billy from Mad Max again, and today we are going to be comparing the two uh, top industry M-Lock rails, in my opinion. We got the BCM and the Geisley. If you come at me with the key mod versus M-Lock argument, you can get the fuck off my lawn. We're going to start off with the Geisley Mark 14. I'm going to say that this is the industry standard right now, not in my opinion, but they Geisley got the uh, new SOCOM contract for a reason with the uh, RSOF with your Mark 16 which is based off the Mark 14 kind of, but it's got m -lock going all the way around and the barrel nut's a little bit more hefty. But this rail is legit. Uh, I have this on my tan gun you might saw in the 50 Shades of FDE video I did a little while back. I'll link it. But it's got m -lock on the 3, 12, and 9, and then Picatinny on the 12. It's strong. You, I mean, I don't want to say you can't beat it, but for what it is, it's the industry standard for a reason. The uh, This is the 13 inch, it comes in around 12 ounces, and they're roughly uh, $250. But if you catch Geisley on their holiday sales, it's always 20% off, which is dope. Next, we're going to go with the BCM MCMR. All right, what's cool about this is it's got M-Lock all the way around, which is similar to the Mark 16 by Geisley, but the problem with the Mark 16 from Geisley, you can only get it when you buy the whole URGI upper from either Geisley or Brownells, and that's super expensive, or you could buy it on the secondhand market for like $600, so if you're into that, you're into that. But this is uh, slightly lighter. If it was the same length, it'd be right around uh, uh, 10 ounces, but this is uh, just under nine because obviously it's shorter. This is the 10-inch uh, one because it's 11 and a half inch barrel. But the biggest difference in my eyes is the QD mount is not integral to the rail. You come, It comes with the little mount here. You can put it anywhere on here, which is either a blessing or a curse. Depends on where you mount your sling. That's on you. But it it's cheaper. Not much. I think it's about a buck eighty. BCM doesn't do sales very often. They do like a Black Friday 5% off, but nah, that's in you. They both get manufactured in-house, which is very uh, unique to those two brands. BCM doesn't have any government contracts, but people do use them in like top tier soft units, which is uh, pretty legit. All right, you're safe going with either one. The Mark 14, really any Geisley rail, uh, but the MCMR is definitely the way to go for BCM because fuck key mod. Um, everyone's going to it, the military's going to it, so you're gonna see more and more uh, aftermarket parts grips and everything these are both m-lock attached from bcm which is cool they fell into it the question is what do you want like are you a bcm whore are you a geisley whore i'm kind of both i could go either way with it but from here on out i have two geisley rails one of my spr also a video i'll link and then this is my first bcm and it definitely has not disappointed but again comes down to the golden question what works for you they both probably will, but what do you want to spend? It's up to you.